Hello. Today we're going to talk about lane guidance with Trimble Earthworks on a dozer. So there's a lot of um, a lot of confusion with lane guidance and how it works and how it can go. So basically, what we have here, we have a model of a levee. This is this is a levee. So you're at your toes of your slope here. You got the top of your levee. You got the other toe down here. So if I if I want to build a flat surface, and this clearly, if you look at the model, this clearly is not a flat surface. This is a sloping surface. If I want to build this thing flat from left to right, from from edge to edge, lane guidance allows you to go into uh, into the model and select two alignments, two parallel alignments. So you'd have like, say I picked this line or a line here. If there's a line, a CAD line in your model, you select this line, which would be here. And then on the opposite side of the model, you would select another line. It would draw a point from this elevation straight across to this elevation and it would allow you to build a flat surface from here all the way up. You can also use your vertical offsets so you can work above that grade, that, that, that design, or you can work below that design. So what we're going to do here, we're going to switch this back over to 3D so we can kind of look at, we're going to pan the, the model around and you can see your lines, okay? Not all models have uh, a lot of line work. This one just so happens to have some nice lines that we can select from. So what we'll do, I'm gonna zoom in real tight. There's two ways to, to get uh, lane guidance to work. So if you notice here, you have this little red cone. This indicates your, uh, your focal point and it is now on the left blade tip. Okay, you switch focal point by hitting this button left and right. So wherever, whatever blade tip you are set on, so right now we're on left blade tip, with ever two lines on your model that this blade tip is in between, if you touch this lane guidance button, turns it on, see we're just right over this line right here, barely over that line, it's going to draw a straight line grade between these two, these two lines. Okay, that's a quick way to uh, engage lane guidance. So see, we just switched blade tips. We're gonna press lane guidance again. Look what it did. It drew us a grade between straight line elevation between these two. So just say, for example, there was a ditch, okay, in this design right here, and I was not ready to cut this ditch in. Say this is going to be the last thing we do on this project. I could put the machine, one of my focus points, between the two lines of the ditch, the tops of the ditch, press lane guidance, and it is going to draw a straight line across. And it's going to ignore that ditch. And that will allow you to grade and do whatever grade work uh, that you need to do. So we're going to press this again and we're going to turn the lane guidance off. So there is uh, the other way to select custom alignment. So custom alignment allows you to pick lines anywhere on the model. So what we're going to do now, we're going to press and hold with your finger the lane guidance button. Then you get this menu that comes up lane guidance. And you can see there's two boxes here, alignment A and alignment B. Basically, what that is, it's going to be, to be clear. I didn't want to do that. This is asking us which lines do we want to select for our alignment. Okay. So this particular model, say I want to build build it flat. I may be working on this side of the levee, but this is all sloped, and I can't back trucks up on a slope. So I want to try to find um, a more even or level plane, if you will. 
the blade uh, to, to, to use my lane guidance. So I'm going to come up, say, to about this line. I'm going to select alignment A. See how it puts a red line. And I'm going to come over the other side to levy. I'm going to say, I'll pick, let's try this one for alignment B. Now I'm going to hit apply. So what it did, you can see it drew a line from this elevation across to this elevation here. Now, let's say this slope was just a little too hard for me and I wanted to soften that slope up. So I'm just going to look right here. I'm going to count. So I'll say that looks like it's one, two, three, four lines down. So say I need to go to about here. So I'll go uh, another say I'll go another four lines down. So let's press this again and hold it. We're going to clear our alignment. Let's hit clear. And go back. So I'll pick this line for alignment A. I'm going to try to guess. It's hard to count. Let's see. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oops. Let me zoom in. I'm going to pick, let's say, this line here. And we're going to hit apply. Okay. So to give you a little perspective of what it of what it looks like, I'm going to change this real quick. Let's go to the cross section view. So basically, this dotted line is going to be that's that's the model. That is the design in which you are working on. But what we've told the system is is take this point here and take this point here and ignore everything in the middle. So what it did was it averaged, it drew a straight line from elevation on uh, alignment A to the elevation on alignment B, and it drew an infinite line. So guess what this means? Yes, you can go beyond your design and still have guidance. You can also apply offsets. See what it just did? Now that was a fill, right? Now, keep in mind, lane guidance will allow you to overbuild your slopes. It is not going to tell you you're putting too much material. So I strongly suggest when you're using lane guidance, use this cross section or have a cross section view in one of your screens because you have to you have to eyeball it you're gonna have to look once you once you get beyond that dotted line that's it just move yourself over you're done then you either offset up some more or you offset down whichever way you're working but it will allow you to put too much material out there so it is up to you as the operator to just always keep a visual of your dotted line this dotted line here that's design so if i were to put this material in here i have just put in way too much material out here beyond that slope that's going to require me to have to cut it and double handle the material. So whenever I'm ready to go back onto my design, I just press that button one time and it toggles. Let me zero this back out and it's going to toggle it back out. Now if I'm ready to go back in the lane guidance again, if I press it once, remember it's just going to select the nearest two lines that my focus point is in between which is, see, this point and this point. So if you have substantial work to do, press and hold it, and you'll have to go into custom alignment, clear out any lines that you may have, and once again, select your alignments accordingly. We're gonna hit apply. Now, there's one thing I want to point out on this particular model. If you set up lane guidance and you are pushing material and you get to a point where the lane guidance, it says it is not available. The reason that is, is because the designer, the engineer on the project did not join all of his CAD lines. If there are any breaks or openings in the CAD lines themselves that were used to build this design, lane guidance will 
stop. All you have to do is walk forward a little bit into the next segment, if you will. Press and hold your lane guidance button and reselect your alignments. On this particular job, this is a case because we, uh, I, I did notice it, and uh, and that's how you that's how you mitigate that. So if you see no lane guidance available, or you're in the middle of a push, and lane guidance cuts off, that is why. Just doze up a little further, and select two new two new alignments. Thank you. Like this video? Give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, click subscribe for instant access to updates and new videos. Also, check the description for links to additional support files and content. And as always, thanks for watching.